Okay, we're on the move today, You doing a lot of matrix work. So here I want to solve a linear system with my TI Inspire CAS CX. So that's our goal for today. And let's, um, let's take a look at what we have here. So this is what I found. This is the equation that we're offered. These are the equations that were offered. And we're asked to find the solution for these three systems. Now there is another way to do this using Gaussian elim elimination or using Kramer's rule. Uh, either way is <laughs> time consuming and a pain in the... Anyway, so let's use a calculator to do what it does best. So we're going to go in there and we're going to help get our calculator to help us with this. So this is not the one that we're going to do. I just wanted to... I did a little practice, frankly, before I got here. So here it is. Hopefully you wrote down the system that we just had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two matrices. The first matrix I'm going to make is going to be a 3 by 3 matrix. And there's our 3 by 3 matrix. And if you remember, we had x plus 2y plus negative 3z minus 2. It's going to take that. So we had 1x. We had 2y's. We had negative 3z's. And that's how I'm figuring this out. On the next equation, we had 1x, negative 1y, and 1z. 1z, that's funny. Uh, on the last one, we had 3x's, 4y's, and we had negative 4z's. All right? So this is what we're going to do here. All we're going to do here is we're going to do this like an algebra problem. We're trying to solve this, so we're going to invert this, right? We're going to invert this to try to get rid of it and get our values left over. Remember, this is x, y, and z, because we need to solve for all three of those values. So these, these were all x values. These were all y values. These were all z values. That is very important, that they're in order. And if they're not, you can just reorder them, keeping the signs the way they were supposed to be. So this is x, y, z, x, y, z. So when we get our answer, we're going to get our answer x, y, z, all right? So we're going to invert this by hitting the caret to the negative first power. And I'm going to move over here. And now I'm going to make this little tiny matrix. And that little tiny matrix is this one. It was all those values that were left on the right-hand side of the equal sign. So let's go back to here. And let's see if we can find a 1 by 3. We can't. So we'll do this. And we want number of rows. We want 3 Three rows, but we only want one column, don't we? So one column. That's pretty easy, isn't it? And those values that we got were negative 2, so negative 2, negative 1, and 4. This will absolutely flip your professor out when you're able to do this without any help. Uh, without, with just, just by pressing buttons, he or she will be just amazed that the calculator can even do it. So there's our answer. So x is 0, y is 5, and z is 4. So we solved a pretty complicated um, linear system. This is not even, I'm going to put this under college algebra, but it's truly not under college algebra. This is under linear algebra, and linear algebra is a beast. It truly is. Some people say it's harder than calc 1, 2, and 3 put together. It's really, really difficult stuff. And here you are using this calculator to your, to your great benefit. So uh, I hope this helps you. Let me know if it does or if it doesn't. Your comments are always welcome. And please, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks.